Hello viewers and welcome back to Let's Play Ultima 9. There's a rat. And I have a new sword. I acquired this sword off camera when I was going through Britain. And I forgot that there's a hedge maze next to the castle British. Of which you can actually climb over and completely bypass any any uh, maze it had, and in, in the center of it, it has a flaming sword. It's not that good, but it's way better than the original, earlier one. So, before we're gonna address the fact that there's a burning building there, I need to tell you that after this point, I've never played this game before, so I might need to start playing ahead of the Let's Play videos, so that I won't just bumble about and not know anything about anything. But anyways, before we head to pause and go to very, very odd territory where, where I've never been in this particular game, we're going to see what's here. Because there's an arch here, and there's a dead tree. There's an orc! Who's not that difficult, and he also had, like, leggings, I guess? Oh, I actually didn't have leather leggings yet, so that's a good one. Hmm, what else have we got? There's a guy who's climbing on a board here. What's up? Blasted people never leave me alone. First those goblins from the west. Now this blonde mutton head. Hey you, this is my home. You don't own the place, so get out. Leave me alone. Wow, that was some quality voice acting right there. And I know I'm going to repeat that same thing all over again many times in this game, but wow, that was bad. Well, this looks inviting and cozy. Nice lighting and everything. Let's actually drink a potion real quick to get our health up. Hello, goblin. Can I talk to you? Are you friendly? Oh, I guess not. Okay. Good night. That was a lot of gold. Good. None shall pass by order of Lord British. None shall pass where? That's a wall, Lord British. Um. Goblin scroll. Let's see, what do we have? Okay, that was probably very important to the plot, but I couldn't be asked to list, uh, read it completely. Um, can I... Can I pick that shit up? Leather arms. I do think I already have some leather arms, but... Let's just pick them up, because we can sell this shit. There we go. That's a dead horse. Come to think of it, I've not seen any live horses yet. Interesting. So hey, look at that. We're actually finally out of uh, Britain and exploring. Yay! Isn't this fun? We're now going to go and see what's the burning building about. Are you following me? Don't stop stop walking, please. Thank you. Hello, person. King's traveler. Ah, the great and virtuous avatar. Oh, I has come thought to she had a beard. Greetings, friend. Well, hi to you too. Do I know you? What is your name, gentle lady? My name is Altera, and I am a fortune teller. The people come to me to have their fortunes read. Some of them believe in me, some do not. It is of no matter. I have a greater purpose, 
and it involves you, Avatar. All right. What is that purpose? I am here to remind you of your karma. I know you are the Avatar. You are a goodly soul. But I also know that it has been a long time since you were lost in Britannia. I travails? also know of your travails in Pagan. What's that Who mean? Who is to say that a little reminder would hurt you? Um. All right, fair enough. If this is boring, we're gonna skip it. Please tell me about my karma. Always remember that your acts will affect your abilities, and how people treat you, and even the circumstances dealt to you by fate. As it was said, you shall reap what you sow. If you are good, and kind, and virtuous. Your abilities will be greater. People will treat you better. And your quest will be less treacherous. If you are foul, uncaring, and unkind, so will your abilities be lessened. So will people be wicked to you, and your quest made more difficult. Okay. I thank you for your wise words, my lady. You are most welcome, my friend. Now, go that about sound? your quest. The fate of the world lies with you. As per usual. Let's just save here. Just to be on the safe side. So, apparently she was talking about some repercussions for stealing and everything, but I seem to remember there are no repercussions to stealing whatsoever in this game because they weren't implemented because this game is a hurried out shit. Also, here's our, here are some potions. We're gonna take them. And after that, we will spend a little while trying to get out of this puddle. Oh, never mind. Help me! Someone help me! Okay, can I do it like this? How am I supposed to do this? Um, all right, that was easy enough. What's up? Thank you for saving me. Please, sir, can you help my mother? Brigands came and attacked our farm. They killed my father, kidnapped my mother, and took everything they could lay their hands on. Please save my mother, please. They went towards the mountains, to the northeast. To the northeast, then. Fair enough. We will go there. Wait a minute. Didn't we just come from there, though? Well, let's just go and see what's this all about. Hello, rat. I'll start calling these rats money dispensers, because why not? Um, still going northeast. There are no mountains here. There are only... towns and rats. I wonder. Hmm. He has a torch. And he has a skull. Let's just lug the skull for, around for a while. So, um, I don't think... What? Are you talking to the chicken or what? <laughs> what happened to the voices of the chicken? <laughs> yes, go ahead. Don't crash. I must have ten gold pieces to pay my taxes. If I cannot pay, I will be sent away to pause. Please help me. Here's ten sure. gold. Spend it wisely. Oh, thank you. Thank you, sir. So that sound is apparently a experience sound or something. What the hell is this chicken doing? Okay. Oh, hi, rat. Cut it out. I already gave you ten. 
Also, city guard, you should be doing your job, which is protecting the city from the giant rodents, if that pleases you. Ah, this is getting old. Stop walking. Oh god! Oh, you didn't die this time. Okay. Well, more money for me, but still. Okay, so... The bandits that were on the northeast, I will probably never find them. Because I don't think they are in northeast. They might be on the northwest side. But let's just ditch the whole saving a child thing. I mean, he's just a child. He'll fare well. He has the whole life in front of him. <sighs> the boy said that the bandits took everything. And still there is, like, gold lying around. Like, full on sight. Oh, hi. Where did you come from? Please fight me. Thank you. Moving on. Towards pause. Oh, there's another uh, goblin thingy. And a pyre of some sort. Hey, what's this? Uh, thankfully the AI is piss poor, so I can actually loot this guy and then come and kill this guy. There we go. Oh, hi! Don't mind me, I'm just seeing what these are. They're just reagents. I don't really care about them much. Good night. Oh, he's dropped his um, sword on top of me. Is that a short sword? It might be. I don't need... wait. I want money. Thank you. I'll just leave the sword floating around there. What's this? Shell. And sea urchin. Nothing important then. And this is probably not an important place either. Moving on. Actually, before we're gonna do anything to that guy, we're gonna save. Because, again, this game is crash prone. While I was off camera getting this sword and everything, this game crashed at least five times. So, we're expecting crashes. Alright, since you asked nicely. Very well, I will pay the tax. Here is your fee. Now let me pass. Gold. 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 What was that? You pass now. Also, is, is, is the game translating his speech automatically to English from the grunts that we hear from the background, or what, what the hell is going on? Also, is he... I don't think he's angry at me. So, we gave him 10 gold, so might as well have our tax of our own, the avatar tax if you will, and take 50 gold. And we also have a valve. I think we will be needing that later. I'm pretty sure we will. Because no way is there a valve lying about in the goblin's cave. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? I just paid you, man! Okay, very well. I found 50 gold. I can spare 10. Now, let me pass. Yes, yes, orgasm later. I don't care about it. Can I pass now, please? Thank you. I hope it was good for you. Are you shitting me? 
I refuse to I've pay already you any money. given you 20. Man, you sounded very sad about it. I'm just gonna actually tell you what. I'm I'm gonna leave. Ow. I'm not gonna leave. Um, because I really, really, really don't care about your toll if I need to pay it each and every time. Hmm. I'm gonna be in deep trouble. For some reason... Oh, I'm stuck. For some reason, I cannot... Oh, he got stuck now. That's good. For some reason, I can't change to my... Oh, now I can change to my bow. Fine. Uh, I need to move about a bit. Yeah, I'm kiting him. So what? I'm not gonna fight that guy. Like, properly. I hope I didn't fuck... What?! What? What? Holy shit! Holy shit! Okay, I will Very pay well, your fucking tax. Pay tax. Do not hurt me Curse anymore. Now, let me now can I properly go over it? Yes, yes, we know this! You pass now. Let me fucking go or I'll swear to fucking god. Was that it? Can I now finally move on without him suddenly stopping me and saying, Hey, guard. Because fuck that guy. Oh no! Ugh. Well, that was exciting. So, now I'm stuck in the bush. Of course I am. Oh, by the way, if this place is anything like the paws of old, that swamp water and that swamp water will hurt you if you go there. So we're not going to go there. We don't want to be poisoned all the time. Now, do we? Come on. Okay. Your butt is hiding the gold. Please decompose. Thank, thank you. Hmm. I don't think there's anything to see here right now. I think we will be coming back later. Something's up there, though. I'm sure of that. Well, with the fun episode with the bridge troll extorting 30 gold from us. Thankfully, we took 50 from him. We can actually now proceed to pause, which the bridge is made of doors. For some reason. That was an annoying sound. It was a very annoying sound. wonder what it is. Are these sounds of the critters? I think they're very poorly made, if they are. Oh, hi, what's up? I had loads of drink. Why did you die? Whoops. Oh, yeah, these are magic potions. Wait, I don't really need them. Actually, since it's pretty late, I'm just gonna take a nap here, and uh, when we wake up, we will end the episode. And come back with next episode later. There we go, I think this is the daytime now. So, until next time folks, thank you for watching.